Okay, it's been a couple weeks. I'm so sorry about that, but I've been on the road. So um, I wanted to, I, I finished, the last video was working on this piece. And I told you guys the next video I would be doing some stitching. So I'm going to just show you that now. I have some um, floss. I'm using two strands of floss. And I'm using white for this one. And it's very, very simple. It's basically, I'm just going to go around their heads. And again, you know, so you know where to put your thread. I just, I'm poking it and going here. And I'm basically doing this just, it's a really simple stitch. And then I'm going to go over here so I know where to put the hole. And go down here. So I'm just kind of following their heads. So let's see. I'm going to go. Let's see. I'm down there. I'm going to go over here. And just kind of fill this area with this thread. I'm just using this one, it's a, just a one long stitch. It's nothing fancy. But it, it just uh, adds some really cool texture to the piece. So I'm kind of going in different directions because I don't want it all to be in one, you know, one direction. I think it's more interesting when it's, when you have it going around. So like here, I'm going to just maybe go like this over here. I don't know what your weather is like here, but here in the Carolinas, it's like rainy and just damp and just yucky outside. And I swear to God, I don't, people don't know how to drive in the, in the rain. And so I was driving and I got rear-ended. And this guy said his foot was, was slippery from the rain. And he just, he slipped on his, on the accelerator. And so, and it sounded bad. It sounded like it was really bad, but we both got out of our cars, pulled over. And our bumpers in the back of our, my car and his front were just fine. So I was able to just like, ugh, I didn't want to have to deal with getting repairs and all that. So I'm really lucky about that. But I don't know. I mean, it's just crazy. People are, are just I don't know what the deal is. It's like I I used to live in Southern California and you know we don't they don't get a lot of rain there so I can kind of understand it but here I don't know. So anyways, I'm glad I'm safely home in my studio and doing this with you guys. So anyways, as you can see, I'm just I'm just doing this little stitch and see how I'm making some longer than others. Let's see, where am I? Oh, I'm over there. Okay, I'm just going to start going in over here. And, yeah, I'm in my pajamas. I'm like, my day's done. <laughs> I'm not going out anywhere. It's good to be back in the studio. I've been on the road helping out a friend. And then coming back, it just took a lot of energy out of me. And so I'm finally back in the studio, which is my happy place. So 
So I'm not going to do this all on camera. I'm going to keep this video short. But um, I will show you then at the end what it looks like. Um, another thing you can do, which is really cool, is to do some French knots. Maybe I'll just come over here. And do a little French knot. So you can fill things in with that. Now just let's see one, two, three, four. I think four wraps. And then you just go right next to that hole that you brought the needle up in. And then the whole thing is to make sure that that wrapping is nice and tight and even. So then when you pull it through, then you get this cool little knot. So there is that. And then if you want to also do something with, I have some silk organza and I kind of like maybe putting this here. And then I'm going to do some stitches along here. And I'll come back after I do this, this top part. Uh, I'll come back on camera and show you what I'm going to do with the silk organza on this piece. Okay, see you in a little bit. Okay, as you can see, I finished most of the stitching around here. Let's see if I can get even closer so you can see it. But I think it's a really cool technique. And it's so simple. So I'm going to pull this out again. You can see the... the whole piece here. So I got, I'm going to zoom back in. Okay, so now I put just a little bit of um, matte medium to hold this um, silk organza. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same kind of treatment here across. Uh, and then I'm going to finish it with some sti long stitches this way. So um, I'll just start a little bit, and then I will I will continue this offline. So it's the same exact stitch, but I'm using it on this organza. Let's see. Make sure I'm on camera. Yep, okay. Let's pull in here. There's something. Oh, it's stuck there. Come on. There. Okay, that's better. So I'm just going to keep keep going. Let's see what's next over here. I always kind of start where this stitch, it, it came through here. So I want to make sure that I'm down here. And that way you save some thread. Just go keeps getting caught on the edge. Make sure I'm still in. Yep. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in another direction. And I think it's this one. Oops. Okay. 
Yeah, poking that hole from the back will really help you keep this. Because then you have a, let's see, so it's there. So I think it's down here. Okay, I'm going to poke a hole here. It's just a nice little guide. Really helps keep your stitches where you want them go to go, rather than poking around and trying to figure out where you are in the front. Okay, so I'm going to just do, I'm not going to cover the whole thing, but I'm, I'm going to do just probably more straight though than this. Uh, just so it, you know, you have something, instead of just having it up here, you want to have it in a different, different place. And, and I liked it here, and I liked using the silk organza. Although I don't like that matte medium thing showing up. Here, I just pulled some of it off. That's better. Okay, so I'll do the rest on camera, and then I'll show you um, when I'm done. Okay, so I finished this. And this, and let me pull this, oh, okay, I'm going to just show you this, what I'm doing here. I don't know if you can see it, but I did, it's a, and just a, uh, I'll show you again, it's a couching stitch. I'm only using one strand because I think I want it to be more delicate. So, um, let me just show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going over here. So yeah, I just have one strand of, of the floss. Okay, maybe I'll go over here. And then if I want a little shape to it, I'm just going to put a needle here. That. And I could do one here. And bring it down into here. Go this direction. So that'll pull it there. And you can do them and you can do it. I'll show you. You don't have to just do it in one position. If you want one to go over here and pull the thread. It's going to round that out quite a bit. I mean, you can write, you can actually make all these really cool shapes with it. Um, but I kind of like sticking for this one. I'm just sticking with doing um, the one couching. And I'm going to go in that direction. And I might go down into here. Let's see if I can still see it on. Okay. 
Okay, do the couching there. Go down further over here. And bring it down here. Ouch! Oh boy. Oh, that went into my skin. I guess that's why I should use a thimble, but I don't. Oh, I see what's happening. It's like I'm going through a couple layers here. And I'm going to couch it there. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going and I'll show you the rest. But I think after I do a bunch of those, then uh, this project will be done. And I'll show you at the end.